Hi, how are you? It's great to see you. How was your event? Good. Did everybody love the earrings that you chose? I knew you were going to get so many compliments. <laughs> well, I'm glad you had so much fun picking out the earrings with me. And you are just a busy, busy, busy person, aren't you? Because you have another event coming up. But I think you're right. Um, you don't necessarily want to do another statement earring. This time, we should do a statement bag. What do you think? You're intrigued? Good. Well, I know you really like to go all out. Mm -hmm. So, I got some fantastic bags I pulled from the back. And you and I can go through them. You tell me what you like, what you don't like. All you need is one. Unless you want like a two-bag situation where you, you know, would switch out your bags mid-evening. But maybe, 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 maybe not. Yeah, yeah, maybe not. Would you like to get started? Perfect. All right. I'm starting off strong here. And I have all of the information right here on my laptop. In case you have any questions, this is the Anya Hindmarch Python Print Multi Stripes Tote. Now, upon a first impression, you might be able to notice that this is, calling this a tote is generous. This is more of a mini tote. But it very much catches your eye right from the beginning. There is an animal print. And then this is oh snakeskin, the python. Um, and the colors going in an almost rainbow order. Uh, we have the red or pink, the more coral color. Here, orange, yellow, green, light blue, uh, sort of a pale green, and like a teal green. It's kind of interesting. And that circles around the entire bag. And then the outer edges of the bag are a gray python print. The material in between each stripe is actually clear. It's a clear plastic, which means when you open up the purse and look inside, you can see the bag. You can see through the bag. So whatever you put inside your purse, if you have a fun wallet or a perfume bottle or something like that, a nice phone case, it will actually show through the bag, giving it an extra dimension. Now, if you want to hide what's in your bag, um, you're going to need another bag in your bag to do that. But the size is nice. Um, you can hold it by its handles up top here. It's got two nice handles with the brass colored buttons. It has a loop here for either a keychain or strap. And then the bigger D-rings on the side are for the strap that it comes with, which is quite long, so it can be a shoulder bag or crossbody bag, actually. Um, adjustable if you want to customize the fit. Easily go over the shoulder. And I have the purse right here down at my hip. Or if we put it over the shoulder, crossbody. That's very nice too. It hits right at my hip, but again, we could customize the length of the strap as well. What do you think? 
I know it's hard to commit on the first one, especially. You can kind of see how many bags I have pulled over here. But this is a cool option. It's mature and fun at the same time. Not the most statement-y of, of all the bags that I pulled. Um, this is on the more subtle side. Mull it over, take a good look at it. still see them um, as we go through. Okay, now this brand is a bit new to me, so I'm not sure I'm pronouncing this right. Coralou? Coralou? You can hear the chain. This is the Coralou Fetching Pouch Bag. Here we have the bag in question. Adjust the chains here. You can see there are multiple options. Here's the bag. Now, this is a fabric bag. It's got really nice pastel colors to it. Gold buttons, almost brass buttons. Six of them. One, two, three, four, five. buttons on the front here, almost giving this a uh, sort of a, a coat look. And then with the pearls on top, these jumbo pearls, they actually get bigger and smaller. Um, these jumbo pearls with this fabric and the buttons makes this bag look almost like its own outfit. Like this is the coat and this is the necklace. Now the chain here, you can see I'm struggling with a little bit, is on the inside. And this is so you can choose to hold your bag in a crossbody. Now, this is not my preference. I personally, for you, would take the long chain and just tuck it inside the bag. Or what you can do is actually unhook it. So would you like me to just unhook the chain? Yeah, okay. It just comes up, it comes out really easily, which is nice. That way you don't have to, if you're not going to use it, there's no reason to let it take up that much room. So let's go ahead and take that out for you. Just give it a little, there we go, unhook, and other side, unhook, there we go. And pull that out. So this can just, you could take it with you if you just want it to hang up, or I can just put this um, away and you don't have to take it home with you if you choose this bag. So let's look at the bag without the chain. Now, the other point in question. It's a pouch bag, right? So you look inside and you can see that this bag actually will close up like a pouch. You can take these two drawstrings and pull. And it becomes a pouch. 
pouch. This bag is fairly unassuming when you first see it, and then you realize it has so many features to it. And I'm not done yet. No, no, no. So we have these nice twisted coils here with the leather tipped tassels on the ends. Okay. Go ahead and pull it open again. Take out our pearl handle. And I want you to look inside. There is a beautiful print. I don't know if you can see. There's a beautiful print of a woman inside the bag on the bottom. It's not like anyone will ever see it, but a very fun touch nonetheless. Comes with an inner pocket, fits about what you'd need, nothing more, nothing less. Um, you don't need to stuff this bag to make it look good, which is nice. Has a nice magnetic closing. And then you can adjust the sides to make it look how you'd like. So we can pull it a little bit. You have this. Yep, go ahead. There's subtle sequins you might see. Take a look. next one I'm quite excited about. This is one of the more statement-y statement bags that we have today. Now this is from Kate Spade. This is the Rio Parrot Crossbody. Look at this beautiful bird. Now this is such a fun bag, obviously. I don't have to tell you, it, this will turn heads for certain. And depending on what your outfit looks like, it, it kind of has this vibe. I don't, it's just gonna be perfect. So let me show you some of the features. First of all, it is a crossbody, like I said. So the strap is nice and long. It's just a thin black leather strap. Again, it's adjustable. But I really like this because it doesn't clash with the star of the show, which is, of course, the parrot. But it sits quite nicely. It doesn't tip or tilt, so it always stays upright at your hip. Now, bringing up the bag, you can see the opening is on the parrot's back here. And that's how you would get into your accessories and items. Whereas the sides of the backs are little leather panels that are the wing feathers. It's got beads, combination of the color of the wings and a little bit of silver. The eyes are silver lined, black in the middle. We've got some white leather here, black for the beak, but the majority of the red. Now this has a fantastic zipper. I'll show you. Got a leather tab here. Let's do that again. Let's do that again. Go ahead and you just very smooth, nice sounding, oh, sturdy feeling. 
zipper. The tab itself has a tiny little spade on it for Kate Spade. functional of the bags that I'm bringing out tonight, but you sort of pry open the bird like a Thanksgiving dinner, and it's very plain, um, sort of natural suede on the inside here. You can certainly fit wallet, phone, makeup, there's more room than you'd think in here. It is a little bit of a hassle to open, but because the zipper is so nice, it doesn't hurt your hand when you sort of reach in to grab anything. Very nice bag. I was so excited to show you this one. I'm gonna let you look a little more at it. Go ahead and uh, zip it up. I'm so glad you liked it. We have a couple more though, uh, quite a few more. One, two, three, four, five. Next one is also very bright. This is just the most adorable bag. I had to pull it out for you. This is Le Petit Joueur. Pardon my French. Baby Olivia Bucket. Now, this one is such a crowd pleaser because of just how adorable it is. It's got this beautiful, high quality yellow leather, two panels, one full panel for the front, one full panel for the back, with yellow stitching down the sides. On top, it is black and white, almost striped design wrapped around the rim of the purse. The bottom has little feet. It's got four silver rounded feet that helps the bucket bag stay upright on surfaces. And of course, a panel down here, matching wrapped black and white rim. And then the strap up top is a gorgeous lavender color. It's very structured, short strap with crossing white leather excess. On the top here, it looks like a jumbo stitch, almost. And that is being held on by silver rings. Inside we've got black leather fabric. We also have an optional navy strap here to make the bag a bit longer if you would like to put it on your shoulder. Um, this would look very cute. You could also have it hang down. I really like it quite simply, a little bucket, and then the inside 
It's just plain black leather fabric. However, to keep your valuables not only safe, but also private, you can actually use the inside as a drawstring bag. All you have to do is pull, 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 and your belongings are nice and nestled underneath, but it gives a nice, because the fabric is black, a nice illusion of just like a clean interior of a purse. So that way you can't see your wallet or your lipstick or whatever you're carrying. I don't know what you're carrying. Pepper spray. Whatever. So, I really like that feature. You, of course, don't have to use it, but it's very soft. Very soft. It's just a nice, comfortable, adorable bag. Open that up again. I'll show you the leather strap here. It is black, actually, not navy. Perhaps in certain lightings, it's just looking navy to me. But it comes with an easy little clip. And you can use this if you want the extra safety. Um, sometimes uh, without a strap, I worry about putting my bag down and then forgetting it. I've done that before. But this is nice too. It's not too thin, not too thick. Again, compliments the very clean, clean look, yeah. And I'm gonna show you this up close. This statement comes very much from the color and the shape. Again, this is just very, like, smooth. There's not a lot of extras on it, but it doesn't need it because it stands out because of its color and its shape. The big stitch details, the black and white, bold yellow. Do we have next? Okay, I'm gonna stay on the bright path for a while and then we'll scoot back down to the more dark neutral colors. But this is a Lele Sadugi bag that is just a party. This is called the Kingsley, the Kingsley bag. And this is more, uh, this is the most structured bag. Here we go. Do not put this bag directly into the sun and then look into it. Yep. Once again, um, similar to the pearl strap, we have a nice spherical beaded strap up here, but this time in this beautiful marbled orange. Mm -hmm. Almost looks like Dragon Balls. You're very correct. And a bigger one on the top here. Now, this will not be a crossbody bag. Um, you'll want to carry it by its strap or just hold it in your hand. And outside, is almost, I want to say like acrylic clear plastic so you can see the absolute plethora of 
sparkles, shimmers, glitters, and confettis that this bag is offering you. So you open it um, at the top and you just give it a little pull apart. It has a triangular piece of fabric on either side that keeps it from fully like flopping open all the way. And as you can see, the inside is pure black. But it has a little bit of texture. <laughs> you can keep a decent amount of things in here. This is going to give you less flexibility than some of the um, less structured bags. You can kind of like shove those in. This will only fit what the structured shape of the box will allow. But don't you love it? Yeah, it is. You said statement. So this could certainly be what you're looking for. This is one of those where you look at it and you're like, well, yes or no. And I do want to say it just comes with a very subtle little logo piece. And you can lay this down on the table flat or upright. It'll stay upright as well. Love that one. All the bags look so fun together. Okay. All right. Now, you think, oh my gosh, we can't get any brighter. We can't get any crazier. I'm a professional. So I secured for you two Susan Alexander bags, one very bright, one a little bit darker, both extremely... you'll see. Now, this is called the beautiful bag. The beautiful bag, the beautiful bag. That is the name of the bag. It's the beautiful bag. And let me show you what it looks like. You can hear it. Alrighty, here we go. Here it is. The beautiful bag. It is literally made out of colorful beads. Now on the inside, it does have a tiny little tag here that says Susan Alexander, New York. That way you know that a real designer made it and, you know, not a very talented third grader. Okay. Now, people are going to hear you coming from about 50 meters away. And they will also see you coming from about 200 meters away. But look at the colors on this. This is a mix between very structured and flexible. Because it is made up of beads, it has a very much uh, it has a lot of rigidity, but you can squish it, mold it, melt it, push it down, etc. And it kind of just stays there. You sort of have to manhandle a little bit. Get it to where you want it to be. And the inside, it doesn't have any closing. So again, if you're looking for more of a private bag, if that makes sense, like the interior, there's no option in this one. But it does leave room for a matching or fun wallet or mini bag inside your bag to hold any loose items so they don't fall out. You can see it just goes straight back. It is 100% beaded all the way around the bottom. It's 
sides and strong. This is so fun. You are like an adult Barbie doll with this bag. Uh, the colors are divine. There's shimmery colors that are more see-through, and then there's the opaque colors that are more matte. But it's just bright. It is certainly going to turn heads. And honestly, with these bags, it's all about the confidence. If you, and I know you will, walk in there loud and proud with this bag on your arm, walking like you do, people are going to love it. Absolutely love it. It's just so fun, so confident. I had to bring it out for you. Okay, let me show you the other one. Place that on the ground there. Again, Susan Alexandra. This is the black multi spritz bag. Once again, this bag is fully beaded, but the colors are a bit more subtle. The beading, not subtle. In fact, Susan Alexandra added in a multitude of of giant costume jewelry type teardrop gems to this bag. Now, one of these came broken off, so if you do use this, you're gonna have to have it tucked into your body that way. Um, but it's really hard to notice unless somebody's truly inspecting it. You can adjust the gems here on the sides. And then the beading is all one color. So it comes in like this smoky, almost see through. It's like a glassy, smoky color. It's a nice dark gray. Now this bag is a bit smaller. This feels more like a uh, classic purse. I'm just gonna go on the crook of your elbow there. But the gems are amazing. This is a little more of a, what I would call a double take bag. Where because it's not as bright, some of the others. You know, you might walk in and be like, oh, that, oh, oh, now that is a fun bag. That's a fun bag. They look like a fun person. Mm-hmm. Once again, it's a very confident bag. It's kind of playing with like an all grown up formal costume jewelry. Certainly, but it is beautifully made, well structured. Very much a statement piece. Okay. Alright. I have one more for you. I'm gonna go ahead and flip it back. I've overwhelmed you enough. Now this is still a statement, but it's more neutral. This is the Zach Posen handbag. The cobblestone eartha top handle convertible backpack. I wanted to give you one backpack option just in case. Now this is gorgeous. Mm -hmm. This is a very, very cute bag. It's got, as you can see, just a ton leather flowers. Each one has a tiny little stone almost in the middle with the yellow gold around it. And then there are these stitched holes. 
at this beautiful color sort of living in the land between um, gray and cream so this one, like a stone color I think they, they call it the cobblestone bag it has flowers up here and you can even move them around a little give them a little touch and they move and then a leather handle top on the side, we have more of the stitched circles. And then on the back here, you can see this is where it can become a backpack if you so desire. If you don't want the extra straps, you don't want it to be a backpack, simply unhinge, unhinge, take it away. If you do, obviously very easy. I love backpacks because they are so hard to misplace. They are perfect over-the-shoulder photos. Again, very good for the double tank. Oh, you walk in, you're looking fabulous. You're looking fabulous. You walk past a person. Oh, they see the beautiful bag on your back as you walk away. You'll hear the whispering. Oh, look at that. Oh, I love that bag. Mm-hmm. So, the way to open the bag you use this little gold bar here, flips down, you flip it out, and it opens up like that. It's almost like a latch. Does that make sense? Flip it down and it's locked. And then it opens up like that. You can see all the little studs there. And then the inside is the same stone color, colored leather. And this is a little bit of a structured back. You might have to like give this one a little to get it where you want to go. But the inside is so spacious. So, so spacious. It has a tiny pocket on the inside to hold anything that you need to slide in there, not get lost. Otherwise, you have a ton of space. So this is probably, yeah, this definitely will fit the most items if you're concerned about the size of the interior. Go ahead and close that back up. stunning glittery box bag. The Kate Spade parrot. Handled fabric bag. A bit of a 
drawstring. So many choices, I know. But I wanted to give you things that were very different um, because I didn't know what you were wearing this time. You know, you could just take a couple. Yeah, I could do a little renting discount here. You could take a couple and just use the one that, you know, go put your outfit on, put your jewelry on, your accessories. Try them on in front of a mirror and see what you like. And then just let me know. You want to take that, that, and that? Okay. Perfect. I'm so happy. Um, that was so much fun. You're gonna look amazing. Absolutely. You have to let me know how it goes. Send lots of pictures. Okay. All right. Good luck. Thank you so much again for letting me shop for you and enjoy your bag rental.